and welcome to St. Jean Pied de Port. And as you're walking down the street, you will quickly notice this bakery. The smell alone will drive you insane. And here's a little outfitting shop. If you forgot anything, and I mean anything, these guys are gonna have it. And I ended up buying a couple hiking poles from these people because I couldn't bring it on the airplane without having to check baggage. I found the thing I need to channel. Okay, so walking to the Citadel Wall here. Gonna see how this plays out with the selfie stick this time instead of me just hand holding it. I know it's uh, the front camera, so it's not as good quality image stabilization and stuff, but hopefully it'll be good enough to, to see some of the wall, some of the walking. It's starting to get overcast. It's cooled off a lot. That's nice. It was so hot today at around two o'clock, it was just cooking. I was like, oh man, but you know, it's gonna be probably like that rain, wind, cold, and then by the end of May, beginning of June, when I'm halfway across around June or something, it'll be scorching hot, but that's why I brought the umbrella. You know, I got the umbrella. Make fun of me if they will, but hopefully, um, It'll take a lot less water too. Because having the umbrella, it only weighs a few ounces to carry the umbrella. But water weighs, you know, pounds and pounds to carry, you know, a couple liters of water. That's a lot of weight. And I can get water along the trail anywhere. Just uh, got my water filter system. I know there's like creeks and rivers and harsh troughs, you know, mud puddles, I don't care. Anything I can get water out of, it'll, it'll work. So I won't have to carry that much water. And then hopefully I won't be sweating so much water because of the, uh, the umbrella. Well, this is really, really rocky to walk on. So I hope the um, video's decent enough. All right, I'm gonna go look for some place to grab a bite to eat. And then uh, it's only Thursday here. I don't leave till Monday. So I'm gonna have plenty of time to walk around, relax, see what's going on, explore. And then I'll head out, <laughs> head out on the big walk. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh well, it's only walking, right? It's only walking. A lot of walking, but still walking. All right, till later.
Well, here we are, first morning. So it's Friday morning. Everybody was up 5.30 or 6, had breakfast, took off, except me. <laughs> I'm the only one left. So the streets here are pretty, pretty quiet, pretty empty. Birds are singing. I'm just going to be walking around town, goofing around. Looks like the, it's kind of interesting because the whole town's going to clear out, right, in the mornings. Everybody that came, they usually stayed overnight one night, and then they're taken off immediately. The weather looks incredible. Beautiful blue sky, fog in the mountains, of course, so you'll be climbing above the fog line. But it looks like it'll be a great day to start. So now I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe I should start because come Monday, it could be pouring rain, you know. So uh, hopefully not, but we'll, we'll see. But the weather is just a beautiful day. Clear blue skies, low, low fogs in the mountains, but otherwise, it's just gorgeous. And it's so funny to see everything from yesterday, people walking around, milling about. So today, there's, let's see, there's literally nothing going on. I mean, there's just nobody. I don't know, see the back of me? Yep, nobody around anywhere. Sun's just coming up behind me. Looks pretty cool. Beautiful time. So now we go out exploring and see what there is to see.